good evening so now we will go with third method which is gauss seidel method so actually when we will say that is jacobi that was second method and now we will switch over to the uh, third method which is gauss seidel method so in gauss seidel method we have a small change if we will compared with uh, jacobi method in jacobi method uh, we are going to consider all values x1 x2 x3 that is equal to 0 in first iteration and then whatever value we will uh, got from there we are going to substitute in the uh, next iteration but in case of uh, gauss seidel method we are going to put x1 x2 x3 that is equal to 0 that's okay but when we will get value of x1 then whenever we are going to calculate value of x2 we are going to put x3 equal to 0 but we are going to put x1 value whatever we got from there so only that change we are in case of Jacobi method and Gauss Seidel method. So now just try to understand this. So I will write over here compared with Jacobi and then Gauss Seidel. So in first iteration, here we have x1 0 x2 0 x3 0 means here each iteration is separate but in gauss seidel no we will have when we will find value of x1 for x1 we have x2 equal to 0 x3 equal to 0 but for x2 we have x1 we have to take from the same iteration and x3 is 0. When I will go to calculate x3, then I have to take x1 that is from this and x2 from this. That means in only first calculation, we have value at 0. In other calculations, we have to take the values from last calculation. So now just we will solve the same problem that is whichever we have solved by Jacobi. So I have kept this as it is. Instead of this Jacobi's iteration method, we will solve the same problem that is by Gauss Seidel S I sorry S A I D E L. So just I will check the spelling. S E I D E L. So we have S E I D E L. So just we will check S E I D E L. Correct. Gauss Seidel method. So same problem I have considered so that you will understand it very clearly. So now again we have to see that is it is diagonal dominant and we have this as diagonal dominant 20, 20, and 20. So now we will start it. Now try to understand this. So again, I will write here that is x1 equal to, so we have same way, no change, x1 equal to 17 minus x2 plus 2x3 upon 20. Then we have second, x2 equal to, x2 equal to, minus 18 minus 3x1 plus x3 upon 20 and then we have x3 that is the sorry third term third equation gives me x3 and then we have x3 that is equal to 25 minus 2x1 plus 3x2 upon 20. So now we have these three equations. 
and then we are interested to go for iteration. Now in first iteration, we have we have put x2 equal to 0, x3 equal to 0. Then we will get value x1 equal to 17 upon 20. And we have this value that is 0.85. So we will have in first x1 we have 0.85. Now this value we will put as x1. So I will write here x1 now equal to 0.85 and then x3 equal to 0 and then we will get x2 that is equal to minus 18 minus 3 into 0.85 plus 0 upon 20 and you got this value that is equal to minus uh, this value we have minus 1.03 so we have minus 1.03 so minus 1.03 so then with third we have x3 equal to now we have to put all values that is x1 we have 0.85 x1 0.85 and x2 we have minus 1.03 minus 1.03 i will take it little bit below so we have x3 that is equal to 25 minus 2 into x1 we have 0.85 plus 3 into x2 we have minus 1.03 divided by 20 and we got this value 1.01 so if you uh, see clearly so you are going to whatever we have done in second iteration that we are going to do, uh, doing it in first iteration so you will get answers fast now in this i will put x2 equal to minus 1.03 and x3 equal to 1.01 and then from this, I will get x1 equal to 17 minus minus 1.03 plus 2 into 1.01 divided by 20. And I got this value that is equal to 1.01. One point zero zero. So just check it. One point zero zero means in second iteration I got it as one point zero zero. Now here we will use that is x one equal to now we will use one which are we got from here. I am not changing the sign color because we have mixing of the iterations and then we have value of x three is 1.01 .01. and if i will put this then i have x2 that is equal to minus 18 minus 3 into 1 plus 1.01 upon 20 and solving this i got value minus 1 and then third we have x1 we have to put 1 and x2 we have to put minus 1 and then you can put it you will get x3 equal to 25 minus 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1 upon 20 so sorry minus 2 into 1 plus 3 into minus 1 x2 we have minus 1 and from this we will get value as 1.00 so we have this as minus 1.00 and this is 1.00 now actually we have we got these values if we will put again x x2 as minus 1 x3 as 1 
then you will get same values x1 that is 17 minus minus 1 plus 2 into 1 upon 20 and we will have again value as 1. If I will go x2, then we have minus 18 minus 3 into 1 plus 1 upon 20. Again, you will get this value as minus 1. And x3 we have 25 minus 2 into 1 plus 3 into minus 1 upon 20. And that we will get it as 1. So in third also, we have same values. So by this actually, we are in position to get values one iteration before. We have to go for less iteration when we will talk about gauss seidel method. Because we are taking the values which we got from last calculation. So we got x1 from here 0.85 that we have used over here. X2 we got minus 1.03. So we have used x1.85, x2 minus 1.03. So likewise, we are using the values which we got from last calculations. So there is not a separate iterations which we have seen in Jacobi's method. So likewise, we have to solve the problem. And here you can see we have value of x1, 1. So you can write x1 equal to 1 x2 equal to minus 1 and x3 equal to 1. So likewise, we have to solve these problems by gauss seidel method. So now we will stop here only. Thank you.